Langerog is a construction and engineering company. We've been in Australia for about 10 years under the Langerog banner, but we've been here for about 50 years. We've done everything from hospitals to bridges. At Langerog, staff safety is very important to us. We work in very remote and very hostile environments, in the heat in Australia and the cold in Canada. We want to make sure we use technology to best protect our staff from a health and safety perspective. We developed a helmet that's able to monitor the vital statistics of our staff out on site. We pass this data up to the cloud to analyse it um, and to give us statistics about what's going on on site. Through the analytics and Power BI, we can analyse the trends and find that a person is suffering from heat stroke typically about half an hour before they would realise it. Azure is the main part of our cloud strategy. We leverage both infrastructure as a service, platform as a service and software as a service. Azure has been really good for us in that it's very easy to deploy uh, platforms and it's quite flexible in terms of how we interface with the service and it also integrates perfectly with our internal IT infrastructure. We're using Microsoft Azure, also Stream Analytics and Power BI to deliver front-end interfaces. The beauty of the system for us is it allows us to bring together data streams from a number of disparate systems. IoT is very important to us uh, because we work in remote areas. It's very useful to us to get information and data back from sites. IoT gives us the ability to do this at a low cost with support from other partners like Microsoft Azure to give us access to information and technology we wouldn't have been able to do ourselves. MIQ have got experience with Microsoft Azure platforms and also Power BI integration. We use Azure to collect the messages from one device or a thousand devices so that it scales and then we send that data on to Power BI. The cloud services that are on offer through Azure are phenomenal. There's a rate of change every two days. There's a major new service coming out. So the problems that we had yesterday, there's now solutions for them today. And that's been very beneficial for this project. The Internet of Things actually is quite exciting for people on site. They can't believe that the technology exists in these small packages and that it communicates in real time back to a cloud where we can analyse the data. We're in the final phase of pilot testing at the moment and we're looking to wrap that up this year with a view to expanding the deployments next year. We typically have between five and 6,000 staff at any point in time in Australia being deployed on a project. We would love to roll this out to all of them. In the future, we would like to leverage Microsoft Azure to capture data from drones so that we don't have to have people climb on the side of a building to do inspections. We can rather do that from a high-definition camera mounted to the drone. A combination of Microsoft Azure and Internet of Things gives us the capability of putting smarts where we typically would have to put people. This takes people out of harm's way and we're leveraging on technology to give us information and data.